apples and oranges. I like them both, but uh, they are definitely not the same. These are two very different, uh, very different multi tools. Both have great functionality, and uh, I utilize both of them heavily. Um, this is a review of this guy here, the Leatherman Juice S2. I will refer to the uh, to the uh, charge a couple of times just so you get an idea of comparisons. Um, this is a light duty, uh, albeit on the heavier side, a light duty multi tool. Um, it has pliers um, as its primary tool. I know the juices kind of vary on what you have. Um, it's got the flat jaws, the open, rough, coarse jaws, and then it's got a wire cutter and a heavy gauge wire cutter. Just as a point of comparison, you can look at the, the actual plier difference. You see how wide this is, the uh, charge is, and that's a lot of its gripping power, and you lose some of that here. But again, and I'll do a little bit more of a comparison later, the size difference is huge between these two. I mean, weight, size, you're definitely looking at two very different items here. Uh, again, Leatherman just seems to have this stuff figured out. Uh, the majority of the regular use items are on the outside. You have your little pen knife. I wouldn't expect to protect yourself with this, but it is a great little pen knife. I've used it regularly. You have this uh, little can opener. I honestly don't use can openers very often. I have an electric one at the house, so if I'm camping and I, for some reason, decide to bring um, a can of something, which rarely ever happens, uh, there you go. I've got this guy here handy, but it kind of acts as a protector of these excellent, excellent scissors. These scissors are actually better than the scissors that come on this guy. Um, Getting these out is a hassle and a half. I these are bigger scissors. Uh, they're they feel sturdier. Uh, if you I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but the tip of these is actually serrated to give you a little bit of grip if you're trying to cut something slippery uh, or th especially thin. That was especially not especially. In case you're wondering. Um, inside we have everything you'd expect to see. Phillips head. I use this probably a million and a half times a day. And then deep inside there you have a little lanyard. Uh, I don't actually use that and I'm not fully sure how you would get it out. I imagine you could get something in there and pry it out but that would be a challenge. But I don't use lanyards on there. And then here you have three flat heads. You get kind of a medium. You have a small and then you have a large and that is the whole shebang and uh, to be honest with you from my perspective that's everything I'm gonna need in a lightweight uh, lightweight multi-tool now size wise you can see thickness is different um, even though this guy is titanium it's much much heavier than this guy this guy carries just effortlessly in the pocket um, there are smaller, lighter ones, but I think you give up too much with those. Um, blade steel on this guy is, I think it's pretty well unknown. Uh, I'd say it's relatively soft. I don't use this for real hard work. I'm not going to take this to, you know, thick core metal or thick core wire or anything like that. I'd, that's what I'd use the uh, wire cutters for or anything else. I'd be kind of careful with what you use that on. I actually think just from, you know, light experience that the metal that goes into the scissors is actually better metal than the knife. But uh, that's just kind of conjecture. I'm just guessing on that. Uh, but regardless, this is an excellent, excellent multi-tool. If you're looking for something smaller and lighter, uh, I believe this thing is sub four ounces. I would highly recommend this. There are, there are as I said, several models you can get one that kind of uh, nails your exact need but if you're looking for a good general use one the S2 is excellent because of the pliers and not a lot of extra uh, again thanks for watching the video